OmniFocus is an outstanding app for tracking projects and tasks, but can easily get bogged down if it is used as a repository for things like ideas and project support material. Instead, I recommend that you store this information elsewhere and reference it from OmniFocus as needed. One very popular place to store things like ideas and project support material is Evernote. Evernote has over 100 million users and is available free of charge, with a premium option available that includes additional features and raises the limit of how much data you can add to your Evernote database each month. In this video, we'll look at how to integrate Evernote into your OmniFocus workflows. If you've never used Evernote before, I recommend taking some time to learn the basics before watching this video. You'll find learning resources at evernote.com, and might also consider picking up a copy of Evernote Essentials by Brett Kelly, and watching the Evernote screencasts on Screencast Online. You'll find links to these resources in the notes that accompany this video. To begin with, I'll give you a quick tour of the Evernote database we'll be using for this tutorial. It's based on a fictional character called Robin, who has been featured in other articles and videos here on Learn OmniFocus. In a nutshell, Robin has an active personal life, a full-time job at Acme Consulting, and a side business called Smile Photography. The default Evernote notebook has been renamed to Inbox in square brackets. The square brackets ensure that this notebook will be alphabetically sorted to the top of the list of notebooks so that it can easily be located. There are also three bundles corresponding to the three major areas of Robin's life, and these bundles contain notebooks that relate to more specific areas of Robin's life. For example, the personal bundle contains notebooks dedicated to friends and family, health records, and personal development. There's also a notebook called System Support that contains notes that encompass multiple areas of Robin's life. These notes provide support around the day-to-day -day maintenance of Robin's system and helps Robin stay tuned into the big picture. As is the case with the inbox, the name of the notebook is enclosed in square brackets so that it appears above other notebooks and bundles. Now let's look at how OmniFocus and Evernote can be linked together. Robin often attends off-site meetings with clients and frequently gives presentations and wants to be sure to have a well-stocked briefcase to avoid the embarrassment of, for example, showing up at an important business meeting without any business cards. Robin's Evernote database contains a concise list of items that need to be available in the briefcase, which is great except that Robin may forget to check this list and as a result may arrive at meetings and presentations ill-prepared. This is where OmniFocus comes in. If I switch to OmniFocus, you'll see there's a single action list called Maintenance that contains an action Restock Briefcase that is set to repeat one week after it's marked complete. When this action becomes available, Robin could switch to Evernote and search for the note that contains the items to include in the briefcase, but this could get a little tedious. Instead, let's create a link between this action and the checklist in Evernote. If I switch back to Evernote and control or right click on the packing list note, you'll see that there's an option copy note link. Selecting this item copies a URL or web address to the clipboard that references this note. I can then switch back to OmniFocus and paste this into the note field for restock briefcase by revealing the note area and then pressing command V to paste in the link. Clicking on this link will open up the web version of Evernote and prompt me to log in if I'm not already logged in. If you're using Evernote links for the first time, you'll be prompted to open this note in Evernote for Mac. I'll click the Open in Evernote for Mac button, and we'll be taken to the note in the Mac version of Evernote. This is handy but not ideal if your preference is to use the Mac version of Evernote without the added step of having to log into Evernote's web application. Fortunately, it's possible to create a link that invokes the Mac version of Evernote directly. I'll close down this window and then we'll control or right click on the note again. And when I hold down the Alt or Option key, Copy Note Link changes to Copy Classic Note Link. I'm going to select this to add this classic note link to the clipboard. Now I'll switch back to OmniFocus and replace the link we created previously with this new link. So I'll select the, the link and then press Command-V to paste the new one over top. Now if I click on this link, 
I'll be taken to the Mac version of Evernote instead of the web version, and the link note is opened in a new window as before. This link will also work on the iPhone and iPad versions of OmniFocus. Right now we're looking at the maintenance single action list in OmniFocus for iPhone. I'll tap on the restock briefcase action, and then we'll tap on the note tab to reveal the link. Now if I tap and hold on the link contained within this note, the Evernote app will open and I'll be taken to the packing list. It's also possible to create note links using the iOS versions of Evernote. The only catch is that, at least at the time of this recording, it's only possible to create web links. Classic note links can't be created on iOS the way they can be created on the Mac. To see how this works in action, let's create a task to review the areas of focus mind map that's stored in Evernote. I'll create a note link by tapping the lower right corner, and then tapping Share, followed by Copy Link. I'll tap Private Link, so that this link will only work when logged into the Evernote account. A link to this note has now been copied to the clipboard. Next, I'll switch back to OmniFocus. Then I'll tap to create a new action, and I'll call this action Review Areas of Focus. And then I'm going to paste in the link into the note field. I'll then tap on the Info tab, and I'm going to put this into a project called Perform Monthly Review. And I'll give it a context of focus. And now if I tap on the Note tab, and then tap and hold on the link that I just pasted in, I'll be taken into Safari and prompted to log into the Evernote web app if I'm not already logged in. I can now open this note in the Evernote app by tapping on the Open in Evernote for iOS button. The good news is that if I open this or other web links in the future, the Evernote web application will remember this setting and automatically bring up Evernote for iOS. However, it's still necessary to be logged into Evernote and Safari in order for this to work, so it's not ideal. Now let's look at another example on the Mac. Let's say you have a number of someday maybe lists stored in Evernote and want OmniFocus to prompt you to review these lists as part of a monthly review. You could create a separate action for each list that needs to be reviewed, or have a single OmniFocus action that contains multiple links to multiple Evernote notes. But a more convenient approach is to reference an Evernote note that contains links to the specific Someday Maybe list that are stored within Evernote. In this sample database, there's a note called Someday Maybe All that contains links to specific lists that in this case were stored in other notebooks. These links were created by control or right-clicking on the notes containing the specific Someday Maybe list, choosing Copy Note Link, and then pasting this link into this Someday Maybe All note. Essentially, we're creating a table of contents in the process. Note that it's not necessary to use the Copy Classic Note Link feature when referencing internal notes. Clicking on a link will take me to the specific note that contains details for that area. For example, if I click on the Someday Maybe My List, I'll be taken to this note which is contained in the Personal Development Notebook. And by clicking the back button or by pressing the shortcut key command open square bracket, I'm taken back to where I was. Now let's create an action that references the someday maybe all note. As before, I'll control or right click on the note and then hold down option and choose copy classic note link. Next, I'll press the quick entry shortcut key, which is control option space in this setup. And I'll create a new task, which is to review someday maybe lists. And I'll add it to the monthly review project. And give it a context of focus. I can then reveal the note field either by tapping on the note icon, or a good keyboard shortcut to get to know is command apostrophe, which reveals the note field. And finally, I'm going to paste in the Evernote link that I just created. So I'll press Command V to paste that in. And then I'll click the Save button to create this new action. I can now access this note on Mac or iOS with the click of the mouse or a tap of a finger and have easy access to related notes through the links contained in this note. In future videos and articles, we'll cover some advanced techniques that make integrating Evernote and OmniFocus even more efficient, with some help from apps such as Keyboard Maestro and Hazel.
This is Tim Stringer from Learn OmniFocus. Thanks for watching.